an excellent speaker. We have a really good opportunity to hear from Lynn Brindley as Chief Executive of the British Library, the first woman, the first librarian to hold that post, and I think really a great force for change in the British Library. Um, but this is an important professional conference, and I'm really grateful to have the opportunity to share just some thoughts on the challenges facing our profession. I think the challenges are not new. Uh, they're reasonably well known, but I think moving and developing very, very fast. Our best professionals and our best practice services are not only coping with these, but relishing the new roles, new approaches, new risks that being a player in a much more fluid and dynamic and competitive environment demands. What's pretty clear to me is that we, namely our profession, no longer have a monopoly on information and knowledge management skills, if indeed, of course, we ever did. Everyone has a finger in this pie. Everyone in their different ways is a researcher because we're also, all of us now, our own personal information managers. We manage our personal databases, or in my case, we don't do it very well. The preservation of our family digital photographs, our choices for our own iPods, our own blogs, our own face Facebook network, and so on. And what this means, I think, is that there's a wider pool of people claiming legitimate involvement and relevant expertise in what was traditionally the domain of the library and information specialist. So I think this means that our skills, whilst valuable, may not be sufficient by themselves. And I see a future, and I've spoken about this before, where they need combining with other expert contributions to continue to add distinctive value. The opportunities are broad. This isn't new, but I think becomes more critical. Uh, no professional group can own the web domain. It's an exciting time to be a librarian. Libraries of all sizes are in a fantastic position to take social media to new communities. Web2 adds to the library's value and image in the internet age if you apply these tools in your own setting. What I'm urging us as a profession to do is get the critical mass get the profession totally associated with leadership um, in this field. Who is in there in enhancing services with Web2? Am I preaching to the totally converted? Who's in there and thinks they're winning on the Web2? Okay, then, um, then, I've got, then you've got the message B, which is for goodness sake, hurry up, okay? Because this other generation, these other people, are there already, so get there and just do it. It's not that difficult. Okay, so there are these opportunities for our diverse communities to provide leading edge services whilst at the same time adding rich content to our traditional services in participative and engaging ways. The need for a balance between democratic contributed services such as Wikipedia and quality controlled kite-marked content historically represented by rigorous editorial control processes of formal publishing and aggregator services is our professional space. There are many, many more opportunities that I've not had time to mention, but I hope this gives a flavor of the challenge. I hope it excites you, the unprecedented opportunities and the need for attention and reinvention of the profession's contribution. It's a time to seize a good part in this crowded space. It's not going to be given to us on a plate, and it's not going to come without effort. Finding the right way to achieve a balance between traditional values and services and the new expectations and habits of the wired generation will challenge each one of us. But it will determine, I believe, quite quickly whether libraries remain relevant to the economic, social, educational, and intellectual context of the information age. It's up to each one of us to do our bit. Never before, I believe, has it been so challenging and so exciting to be in this profession of ours. So good luck, do your bit, enjoy the conference, and go home, I hope, motivated to just do it. Thank you very much.